Hi, I'm Dr. Liang. I'm an optometrist in Toronto. I do developmental and rehabilitative optometry. So now you know that uh, myopia is getting worse during COVID times. I wanted the three best methods to treat it. So we also call it uh, myopia management because we cannot reverse myopia in most cases. Uh, so one of the best methods is uh, Ortho-K. So Ortho-K is a lens that you wear at nighttime, you put it inside, you sleep with it, and then daytime you take it out. So this is really good for kids who's progressing really fast because of the near work that they have to do. So for the kids that go to extra classes, after school programs, do a lot of piano reading, these are really good options, unless they have binocular vision disorders. Um, so the effect of Ortho-K is about 46% in average. So that means if previously you have changed minus one a year, after Ortho-K use, you would be changing only 0.4, uh, 0.54 a year. And the second option is uh, Hoya Dim's lens, Myo Smart lens. So it is a lens that you put inside glasses and you have to wear it. So the kids wear it in daytime and they have to wear it for school or for online learning. And that is to uh, give them 60% effect. That means previously, if they change minus one per year after the lens wearing, they would be changing only 0.4 a year. And then the last one is vision therapy. So these are for the kids that don't have really good binocular function. So they are for the kids that cannot converge. If you uh, have them uh, not converge to about five centimeter, or they have accommodative problems, they have um, accommodative insufficiency, or their eyes are not teaming together, those, uh, including the lazy eye people, the cross eye people, they're not good candidates for Ortho-K or Myo Smart Lens. Uh, they will be really good for vision therapy and would help them align their eyes together. They could see well, they can uh, learn how to relax their eyes, and they can uh, use their eyes more effectively and get more done in a less amount of time. So if you want to learn more, follow my future videos on each of them specifically. If you have other questions, you're welcome to put it down and I'll talk about it in my future video as well. Thank you.